at your service. Hi, Mandy. I'm Tim Balls, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on Dialed In, the third game from Jersey Jack, and the first uh, standard with game designed by Pat Lawler. This is a Jersey Jack LE, and I'm filming here at Level Zero Arcade in Greater Albany, New York. Dialed In is a mode-based game at its core. The third most important thing in this game is the multi-ball. The second most important thing is the modes, and the number one most important thing is the SIM cards. You need to get SIM cards to upgrade your phone to make the modes more valuable. You want to use your multi-balls to play the modes and get the SIM cards. First thing, we get a skill shot here. It doesn't lock in when I take it off the uh, switch, so you have to actually time it right. You're aiming to get it into the lane behind the Quantum Theater, which is going to kick it back around to the upper flipper. We go for hold bonus X, and I got it held. It's going to come around for the super skill shot, and if I was able to hit either the side ramp or the uh, hole on the side, the camera hole from Twilight Zone, kind of in that same position, I would have gotten uh, increased bonus X, which is really nice. But now it's just held, so hopefully I get more throughout this ball. Uh, my phone isn't charged, so how do I charge it? I hit the guy with the big lightning bolts in the middle. His name's QED, and in the left side, he's a lot safer. Especially when your kickback's lit. So now my phone's lit, and I've got a bunch of app selection. I've got this eruption mode, this volcano eruption, this whirlwind mode, this, uh, I don't know, flooding mode or something, and I've got this yellow one. Avoid this yellow one if you, if you don't have to play it because the yellow one will turn the magnets on. This is called EMP strike, so I want to avoid it. I would rather play the whirlwind mode. Probably my favorite mode in the game. And I accidentally started the yellow one. So you know what you do in this situation? You start right off the bat with EMP strike. Let's see if I can do it. See if I don't drain from the magnets. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, you know what you do in this situation? You time the mode out. It's three shots at the middle where the magnets will throw it wildly. And I don't want to do that at this point. If I had big bang lit, I could finish it in one shot and I would take it. If I had a multi-ball ready, I would take the multi-ball, but I don't. So I'm going to wait it out, hang out here. My phone's counting down. You can time out modes. You don't want to usually, but here I am. And after this mode is done, my locks will be lit for my first multi-ball. You actually have to play your first mode for a multi-ball. So I'm being safe. Timing out EMP strike. I do not recommend timing other modes out. Just EMP strike. Now my lock is lit on the side ramp and the left orbit. I got 4,000 points just for shot starting the mode. So I'm going to post pass here. I'm going to shoot the mode, or the lock. Ski pass works pretty nice on the outside uh, lane. There we go. I'm going to get a phone call that means my multi-ball is ready. I don't want to take this phone call yet. I want to play a mode first. So I'm going to cancel the phone call by double flipping when I get that call. Now my phone turned off. I rejected that call. I'm going to hit him to charge the phone again. And I'm going to try to start a mode and then shoot it again in the scoop to start the multi-ball. So let's try to do that. Hit him to charge the phone. Hit the phone, starts a mode, starts alien invasion, and no. Nope, still nope. It's telling me to shoot shots, but my priority here is saving that ball and starting this multi ball so I can play both at the same time. So I lost 15 seconds in my mode, which kind of stinks, but you can get more time by shooting mode shots and then shooting the phone. Also, shooting the phone in the multi-ball will progress me to add a ball. I have to shoot it three times, and it will spell add a ball up top, so you know how much progress you have. So my roving arrow is on my left ramp. It's going to move to my side ramp, and then it's going to move up the middle in the mode here. So there we go. Now all my shots are blue, and the red shots on those other arrows are my... Uh, Jackpots. I've also got this yellow thing coming, which means the guy in the middle is attacking me. You can see my flipper kind of die. For, uh... He was attacking me for the uh, super jackpot. Alright, so I shot in here and I started emoji overload. Something that can be worth a decent amount of points. 
Um, but isn't super valuable. And my mode's done. I didn't beat my mode, Alien Invasion. I got 38,000 out of it. Emoji mode's still running, so I guess I'll shoot some uh, emoji shots here. Something like hurry up, but I think you have to shoot a few shots to get the value of the hurry up. I don't know. The Bob modes are something that's basically just nice to have running while you're doing other stuff. They're not really worth going for as much as these phone modes. So right now I still want to hit this guy to charge up the phone. The later you are in the game, the more shots you need to actually get the, enough power to charge your phone. So it starts at 1, goes up to 2, goes to the 3. I'm at 2 now, so I took 2 shots, but it's more dangerous to keep hitting him over and over, and that one went straight down the middle. So an okay start there. I kind of explained what I wanted to do. I didn't get a lot of points out of it, though. I really want to start beating my modes. Maybe I'll be able to play another multi-ball on this ball. Bonus X Hell, it's another good one. And missed completely. Whiffed on that. My Big Bang's ready. By hitting this target on the side, you light the Big Bang. So I'm in sinkholes mode. And this is going to be like, what's it, five shots to the orbits to beat the mode. Or I can shoot one Big Bang shot and complete it all in one shot and get all the points for the mode in that one shot. So let's see if I can manage to do this. There's a kickback. Oh, just missed. Get him out of the way. Oh, missed again. So I've got 14 seconds to shoot five shots, or I've got 14 seconds to shoot one big bang shot. Which will it be? Oh, he's moving again. Eight seconds. Oh, I didn't get it to count. There it is, last second, and I got all the points for that mode. There we go. Extra ball for score. My SIM card's lit. Oh, I'm on status report, so you can't see I got 134,000 for that one shot, for that big bang shot. Which is a lot of points. My SIM card's lit. I've got a drone package up the middle with that question mark lit, so that's a mystery award. For completing drones, you get those mystery awards lit. And... I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to try to shoot it around the orbit, get it back, and then shoot it around the orbit again to shoot the lock and the SIM card. I don't really want to shoot this guy from the right flipper because I don't have that kickback ready. Oh, there's another extra ball. That's nice to have. Different uh, dialed ins I've played have different feeds out of the scoop. It always kind of comes either to the slingshot or right to the inner uh, knuckle of the flipper. So drop catching and live catching, really important skills out of there. The bounce pass is not worth it on any dialed in I've played so far. Let's shoot the orbit here. It's going to kick around. Nope. There's the sim card. Really important there. All my modes from here on out are now worth... 2x value. Every shot in any mode is worth double what it was before. I don't have to beat it. Just every shot's going to be worth 2x. If I get more, another SIM card, it'll be 3x. Another SIM card, it'll be 4x. And dialed in is 8 letters, so it goes up to 9x value. Really big. QED's a little safer here, so I'm going to shoot him if I can. Keeps diverting up to the top. Alright, so I have more modes lit. Let's play Whirlwind with this multiplier. So it's 14,000 for the shot, but my SIM card multiplier appears on the display. It means it's actually 28,000 for that shot. I think it gets added up at the end, maybe. So one more shot. My last shot in this mode is the uh, the upper ramp, which actually is also the lock shot. So it's the only thing I'm really focused on right now is shooting all the way around there. Shoot it through the middle. Try to take a shot at it. Oh, this might feed around. Nope, pop bumpers. 
Oh, almost. Oh, again. <laughs> Tough shot on a lot of dialed in. Sometimes you need to juice that power up a little bit more. On the flippers. Got seven seconds left. There we go. There's the mode completed. So look at all those points. That's going to give me the uh, status. Sim card multiplier, 192,000 for the mode. That's way more than I'd get in a really long multi-ball. That was really quick, four shots. Another sim card's left for beating the mode. I got one ball locked. It takes two locks and then a phone shot to start the second and all subsequent multi-balls. Only the first multi-ball is a two-ball multi-ball. So I got the whole bonus X already. Oh, maybe I can fall in. Yes, there we go, the sim card. Sometimes it just falls in there if you beef like I did, so... Now my modes are all be 3x for the rest of the game. Put him here. I prefer the moving shot on him when he's on the right side because it seems to come back a little nicer to this side of the play field and not just out lane or um, kind of comes more vertical down. I don't know, different people might have different ways to approach that shot. So let's play um, this Earthshaker mode. Shoot either lit shot, 3x value. Let's get control here. There's a ramp shot. And there's a orbit shot. Might not count. Uh, another left ramp or the side ramp. That's what I need. Well, I'm gonna go through the pop bumpers. Come on. More time in the scoop. Trying to get control on this left, right flipper here. There we go. There we are. And right up the middle. And the side rip. I got one more shot left for the mode. And I've got two seconds. What do I need to shoot? The middle or the orbit? Can I do it? Nope. I'm out of time. The music's changed. Got 165,000 for three shots in that mode. A lot of points. I didn't get the ne next sim card lit. One more shot would have done that. Six modes for Armageddon, so just playing through all the modes will get you to Armageddon. The final wizard mode is uh, spelling all of dialed in, which is really tough, which is why I've turned extra balls on. Really hard to do on just three balls. I need that lower B, which I can never hit in single ball play. I'll go for it. Nope. That seems like it might be the best way to hit it, is kind of coming off the drone area out to the side. Uh, I can also go for my right orbit so I can have the next lock lit. I got a mystery in the middle. So I'm gonna go for the right orbit. Ah, I can't hit the right orbit. Phone needs another shot left. Right orbit. There we are. Now I'll shoot QED. Now my phone's lit. I don't even see what mode I get. Flash fires. Don't really know this one, but it's going to tell me. Shoot the left ramp. Loud and clear. And it looks like the mode is not blue this time because it's a fire. So it's a red and orange pulsing one. Oh, not even close. There we go. There's a shot. Shoot the, uh, shoot the bob stand ups. Okay, this is this one. So I'm gonna shoot the stand ups on the side for some points. There we go. Now, what do you want? A left ramp again. B-O-B. B-Y-O-B. Or shoot the phone for more time. Oh, I'm out of time. What was that total? 
117,000 for three shots. So yeah, it's it's just way more profitable. Even though I'm not doing well in these modes, worth a lot of points to just start them and, and get what you can get out of them. Even if it's a single ball play, even if it's risky. Now while well, nothing's going on, might be a good time to go for my locks. There it is. So I'm going to cancel again. I've got two balls in the lock. Always be canceling. Get my phone call. Double flip twice. Then I'll cancel it. I do it a little more just to be safe. There we go. Big points. Shoot QED. I probably need to shoot him three times now. There it is. Into the scoop. Theater is hurry up when that sounds going, but my modes are worth way, way more than any hurry up value. Oh gosh, I'm out of control. I've got no save on the sides. Side to side is not good. Still side to side. All right, there we are. All right, phone. Just slipped out. Okay, we're in a mode. Acid Rain. This is a pop bumper mode. I'm gonna try to drop catch it. And then get it back in that scoop. Boom, right away. I'm mean, a three ball multi ball at 3x value, and I just have to hit my pop bumpers, which are worth 9,000 a piece now. Which is almost as much as that one hurry up was at max value. So here we go. In the multi-ball. My bob is also lit in red, which means I can stack another multi-ball into this multi-ball, which I almost did. I really want to hit my pop bumpers. I hit a bunch of pop bumpers, but I also got attacked. Oh no, Bob's actually not a multi-ball. He's lit for a jackpot, so I lied about that. What else do I need? I need left ramp for the mode. I got an add a ball, it looks like. Yep, I did. I got a super jackpot lit at the uh, the yellow one is the guy in the middle, which I hit there and turned all the lights out. My magnets are going, so could be alert about that. Wow, I didn't beat my uh, mode, interestingly. My big bang's lit. But, um... I don't want to really want to use it now. All right, it was interesting I didn't beat that mode. I guess I didn't hit the shots it wanted me to. One, two, three, four, five modes left, or four modes left for Armageddon. And uh, that's my second multi-ball done. I still have that lower B, always. Let's backhand him. Forehand him. And, oh, whatever, that's fine. Another extra ball lit, and that's out. All right, that was a really good ball there. Four modes left for Armageddon, so hopefully I can get there. We got the next one lit, and it's at 3x, and I can use my big bang to beat it in one hit. So I'm going to try to play that meteor mode, that red one, which I've kind of been avoiding. Uh, just by itself, and then use the Big Bang to complete it. Oh, there's a lock. Take that. Nice combo from the right flipper to the upper right flipper. Come on, ball. Want that hold bonus X. So I can't see on the screen. When it moves over to the right, you can see what your bonus X is at on the, uh, one of the towers in the city. Ah, transit value. Well, I got Tidal Wave. This is a mode I don't see very often. Looks like it's worth a lot of points. 20,000 for a ramp. 28,000, 36,000. Oh my gosh, look at all these points. If I can hit that side ramp. 
I'm building the value of it. There we go. And I'm gonna keep. Oh, let's cancel. Did I both locks lit? Alright, that was a lot of points. I guess I built the value and collected it, so I've got the SIM card lit. Big bang lit. I don't know if I have multiball ready. I don't know if I can't. I didn't know what happened there. <laughs> Haven't really been this deep in the game to see what happens there. Pop uppers are generally pretty safe. They usually come to the left flipper. Or they bounce over the back of QED, which is controllable. Sim card! Oh no, it didn't count the shot. It counted as a Bob shot instead. Even though I hit that. Oh god. Oh, I had that I had that sim card. Oh, I might have to hit my uh, train 1 and 2 to actually get the multi ball, even though I locked two balls. So I guess I have to hit the train 1 and 2 to get the multi ball lit. So I might as well hit him first, get the mode started. Yeah, sure. We'll do this mode. Singularity. Alright, there's one. There's a shot. Nice. So I actually have to lock the shot on the side. There's Big Bang to complete the mode. Took a danger. Oh no, I tilted. 41,000 bonus loss. I wanted that SIM card. I didn't want to lose that ball. I actually would have had two lit. They're stacked on top of each other. And I got ripped off on that one SIM card. Unfortunately, this is kind of the same problem Twilight Zone had, where it doesn't really know which hole it's in. So it thought I went in the crazy Bob hole, which feeds through the same subway as the SIM card hole, just based on the other information the game knew about. So, it cheated me in the wrong direction. I would have preferred it to cheat me to give me the SIM card for a Bob shot. It's not going to do that. It's going to give you the uh, Bob shot when you want a SIM card or the scoop when you want a SIM card. Uh, this is still a good game. Getting close to Grand Champion, but I have extra balls on. I want to get to Armageddon mode, so we're just going to focus on more modes. I might have like two, three or two left. So just hit him. Nice, right in the scoop for eruption mode. Feeds it up the middle, but it also shoots it right down the middle. But sometimes uh, QED knocks it out of the way. He helps you out. Nice, and here's multi-ball. So I'm going to 3x eruption in multi-ball. So I'm going to focus on shooting up the middle. Oh, I actually have to shoot the scoop to start the mode. So it looks like it's a four ball multi-ball. I went for it on the upper flipper there. Oh, what a what a waste. And now I can't play the mode with the multi-ball. Oh, gosh. I think I have one mode left for eruption. Would have been nice to play one with that. Still have extra balls. Bonus X. Super skill shot bonus X increases to 4X right away. Alright, start the four ball multi ball here. I got three balls in the lock here and one ball here, so it has to be four ball. Da -da -da. And uh, let's shoot some jackpots, I guess. Really not much to talk about this multi ball. It's kind of your modern multi ball where, you know, everything's lit and then. Blue, the blue attacks from the theater. You can see where the attack's coming from. So I missed that one. I lost two balls because of it. Maybe I'll get one back. Oh, I would really love to get a bob target here, but I'm going to lose all my balls instead. That's not going to give me an out of ball. Mystery package. What'd I get? I got a jackpot. I'm getting my SIM card hole. I don't need it. QED! I 
I think Meteor Storm's the last mode I have, so I am gonna just time it out. Oh, I got four shots now on QED to light the phone. Oh, God. Another tilt. I don't have any more warnings. On factory settings... Oh, I lost a lot of bonus. Factory settings, you get two warnings per game. So from now on, if I get one to hit there, it's going to be just a tilt. So I'm on ball three. Hit a... Oh, I love a QED shot while um, my ball saves on. All right, Meteor Storm, last mode. Are you bigger than a meteor? Let's see. All right, I got it to time out, so. Could shoot the stand-ups at 3x value, but I have zero modes to go for Armageddon. I've never played Armageddon. I assume it's gonna be lit out the scoop. I know there's an insert here for Armageddon, so we're gonna see what happens when that happens. Maybe my SIM card value of 3x will help here. Who knows? Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to take down the GC on this game, but it's definitely beatable. Meteor storm alert is still in effect. Eight seconds. Bum, 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 da, da, bum, da, da. My bonus is at 4x because I held it from that skill shot, which is good. You can see it on that tower. All right. Oh, I got to charge my phone. Armageddon ready. Shoot phone. All right, thank you. I don't need to charge the phone again. Take like five shots. Boom. Okay, Armageddon. Shoot lit arrows, award jackpot, 60 seconds. Shots build super jackpot. Big bang adds build up multiplier. All right, I'm shooting shots. Uh, that's, from what I can tell, that's what I do. And I've got a ball saver on, so I'm just gonna keep shooting. There's a big bang. That looks really cool on the screen, whatever's happening. A black hole is forming. Can't hit anything. Oh, I got zero seconds. Three hundred seventy one thousand points in Armageddon. We're back. City's back. All right, that was Armageddon mode. Oh God, the camera's freaking out. The camera really didn't like Armageddon mode, so hopefully some of it's captured. And now I'm just gonna continue playing and back to the beginning of the game. Really now you're getting, trying to get your dialed in letters for that other wizard mode. It's gonna require going back through the modes again. The the uh, multi-ball gets harder and harder as you get through the game. Super skill shot. Let's see how hard it is to charge my phone at this point. It's gonna be uh, four shots, it looks like. Shoot the yep, one more should do it. Good job. Got the theater, hurry up. Okay, and I have to, now to, in order to light the locks, I have to shoot the right orbit followed by the left ramp fast enough to light it. Ooh, but I got some good modes lit. Like my favorite one, Whirlwind. Oh, I didn't get it. I got sinkholes instead. We didn't play this last time, though, so shoot the orbits, five shots. Starts with both orbits lit, and then it goes down to one of them. If you don't know what to do in a mode, you don't have to memorize it. Just look at your phone. See the call, the text messages from Bull Dozer. There's different characters for all the modes. Tearing the city up. 
right orbit. Thirteen seconds. Saint Paul alert persists. Things are going soft in the financial district. Get some more time here. Here's what happens when you bounce pass. Ah, that wasn't too crazy, but they didn't stay on the other flipper. And there I lost it. Alright, that was a game. I'll put my initials in. It's not crazy huge, but I did get to Armageddon with extra balls. I have to turn the extra balls off for the owner. 213,000 points, plus some other held bonus. Grand Champion! Alright, so thanks for watching my dialed in tutorial. Hope you understand what to do. Hope you understand why modes are so important in this game. I know my multiballs weren't great, but even if they were great, it would just kind of be uh, not a lot of points for the supers compared to what you're getting in the modes, especially when you get those sim cards. Collect your sim cards and uh, have fun playing Dialed In. Really great game from Jersey Jack. See ya.